So this is a video that we're doing in the supermarket. We're at Robinson Supermarket. This is like so, what you tell them. So hi guys. So we're going to have this challenge since um, we're planning to stop eating outside because it's really cost a lot. Um, so I I have this video for a week and I'm, it's on my mind. <laughs> and then, uh, so watch me. <laughs> Whatever I pick, that's for um, our weekly uh, meal or budget. Yeah, so basically we're going to try to see what a typical Filipino would buy at the grocery store for a week. So you want to know? We'll try to show you some receipts at the end and find out what food you would get for that typical week. And then of course you can multiply by four to figure out for your monthly budget. And you're going to be honest with everything you buy, right? Yeah. So this is everything you'll need for the week. Is that yes. right? Okay, we'll give it a try. Down the other aisle, I'll swing around. There she is. Wow, I don't like this. It's so expensive. So expensive. Which one is the price? So I can show everybody. This one down. Which is no, the price? This Which one? one? This one. I don't like this. Oh, is this okay. the price? Is this yeah. the price? Yeah. She doesn't like that because of the price, okay? Uh, you want to find out what it is no, in your currency? Look up Google two, two, conversion. It's 227. This one is 137. 27 is 36. So I want this one. I basically double it to get a US price and then I convert it into Canadian. That's kind of how I figure it out. So we have our first little bit there. Have this with corn beef. What is it? Cornel. <laughs> oh. Cornel. Corn. corn. Okay, that's corn. So again, we'll try to show the receipts at the end. A typical, you know, grocery buy from a Filipina's perspective for about a week. So if you want your monthly budget for the food, just multiply this by four, and I'll give you an idea. I know budgets are all different, but... You can find uh, chicken broth here. Chicken broth, you need to just uh, get hot water and put one cube in What is that? It's um, chicken broth cubes. Oh, okay. So you add water the, to get the broth. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. And like in Hong Kong, uh, if we want to buy a chicken broth, we can... Uh, buy uh, chicken broth like the fresh milk size, one letter. Okay. But here, no. Don't expect that. For my mac and cheese. I taught her about mac and cheese. <laughs> She's making mac and cheese really well. It's the first time she made it was the other day and it was fantastic. She didn't hear about it before. Can you believe it? No mac and cheese in the Philippines? Or maybe other people do, we just didn't know about it down here. I don't know, but there's no actual package that you can buy this mac and cheese. Like back home we have like craft dinner and I think in the States something similar only mac and cheese, but you can't buy it here. So she makes it. She makes it fantastic too. Really, really good. So there's the noodles. And it's really weird because um what I know, most of the foreigner love pasta, but my mahal doesn't like pasta. <laughs> and when I was in Hong Kong, I'm thinking what to make for pasta, for the sauce, and <laughs> the well, chai. Not so much I don't like it, I don't love it, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. One of the foods I don't love, okay, pasta. But I do like mac and cheese, which is pasta. Bottled water, lots of it here. And you need to stock up because you run out of water a lot. Hello. Hello. Oh, the date is it ten? Something like that. Could be eleven. <laughs> We're not sure. And when you watch this on video, we have no clue what date is going to be. Some of our videos come out 
close to when we record. Others come out weeks and weeks later, so you never know when this is going to be out. So that's your typical bread right there. Got your cheddar, the cheese. We're moving on again. You gotta like these carts too. So look, just look at these carts. Look, see this? It comes sideways. <laughs> That's so cool. That was new to me anyway. And since my Baha loves the corned beef with corn, I will buy. Which is which? What is the brand? She's looking for corned beef. I think earlier I said this is like a typical Filipina yeah. grocery buy, but I guess it's not a typical Filipina because she's buying things that we eat. So I guess it's kind of like, uh, you know, a weekly grocery budget. Maybe we Australian. could say it's more this like that. Australian. Australian? Yes, good day, mate. Good day, mate. Nice can. I'll just try one. I'm terrible with Australian accent, as you know. Everything she makes is really tasty, by the way. She's an awesome cook. Are all Filipinas natural? Are all Filipinas natural cooks like you, or you just have yeah. the ability? Yeah, no Filipina doesn't know how to cook. Well, you do an awesome job. Or except the Filipina who's born with a golden spoon. <laughs> I remember this corn beef in Gaisano is around 38, but here is 52. So they went the prices, looking at prices again. She's saying it's pricing here, it's too expensive. Yeah, it's too expensive. They're very choosy over pricing, so that's a good thing. Save they you some are, money. Um, smart when it comes to grocery. And she's very money wise, smart. Interesting how they have the meats here while we're shopping. Yeah, They're all open. Oh, anyway, you say? Our favorite dessert. We cannot buy ice cream because. We always get sick. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a... And uh, just uh, recently I had um, sore throat yeah. and... I caught it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's the ice cream though. No, it's the... It's... Ice cream is also one of the... You know, it can trigger. I don't know. Put in the comments, what do you think? I don't think ice cream triggers your sore throat. I've had ice cream all my life, I love it. But who knows, I could be wrong. Because when I'm with him, I started not liking pork. <laughs> Just chicken. <laughs> what is it? Well, how did I make you stop liking pork? Um, because it's so hard to cook. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because I don't, I don't want it. to eat alone. I yeah. don't want to eat the entire, you know. If, if, if I cook chicken, at least you can eat. Oh yeah, Not I love chicken, yeah. yeah. I don't love pork. It's okay. Yeah, no. I eat it. But no. Yeah. <laughs> but it's interesting. you love. Because no. I'm the only one. Yeah, she loves it. But this is interesting. I started to mention how the meats, they're like all open. All the meats here are open. see right here like all the meats they're just open like there's, there's none in packages they're not in cellophane it's just open meat so that's interesting so part of the weekly budget for food is the meat and kind of scoop it scoop it up into the bag this is how you do it in the Philippines. Smell test. It's got to pass the smell test.
Does it pass the smell test? Yeah, that one did. We got it in the bag. More meats. Picking up more meats. This is a bag here. We get the bag and you want to see the pricing. So you can see the pricing for just that uh, chicken. That helps. Make sure you use your converter. Don't always say, How much is that my money? Check the converter on Google. It's your friend. So she. She collects the meat, puts it in the bag, gives it to the guy. The guy goes over to the scale and he weighs it, and that's where we get our sticker price from. And to give you an idea again, the pricing, pick it up and show you. So that's uh, some of the meat right there. Uh, these other parts of the chicken, maybe? Chicken breast, chicken legs, and she's getting more chicken. I guess we love chicken. Freezers. What's in the freezer for the meal today? Some packaged ham. Is that ham? Yeah. Packaged ham. A lot of these packaged meats that I've seen back home we can't get, but packaged ham is one of them. You can't get the packaged ham, so that's one you can get. This is the egg section she's coming to. And if you notice, eggs are on the shelf. Oh my goodness. Can we not buy eggs? Looks like a lot of eggs are gone from the shelf. Maybe there was a sale on eggs or something, I don't know. Well, she said they're very expensive here, so I guess the uh, suggestion is to buy them at the market. But we're doing a kind of a, you know, grocery store test today. So if you're typically buying at grocery stores back home, you can kind of compare to our uh, weekly budget of food here. I don't want this. You don't? Buy in the market. <laughs> See, I can't even convince her to do it. Can you just do it for the budget's sake? <laughs> and we just want to add up and compare. To people back home, she doesn't want to buy it because the market is so much cheaper than he these here. Where, where's the prices? Where can I show? Where can I show the prices? Is it on the container? Okay, there it is, right down here. And that's much more expensive than the market, so that's why. But we're doing it for the budget video, so you can kind of compare back home buying typical things to what we're buying right here. This is it? Yes. This is, this is for the week, what yes. we have here. Yeah, we have for this one. Yeah. Really? That's enough for the week? Yes. Wow. Yeah. I was expecting we needed more than that for the week. No. Okay. Well, she's the, she's the boss buyer. <laughs> so this is the segue. Right after we uh, showed the eggs, and we said, that's it. And I said, I kept saying, are you sure? Is that it? Are you sure that's all we're gonna have this week? And she kept saying, yes, yes. So I thought I'd insert this clip as well, because we bought more. <laughs> and this is some of it right here. We'll show you the bill after. It's one bag right here. Got the little bit over there, and then we got a box down here as well. Kind of how they do it here. They bag it up and box it up for you. So, and we just finished our grocery shopping. Uh, hard to show it like that. So, what do you think? Do we succeed with our plan? Um, yeah. So, thanks. We will have to wait out for breakfast or dinner. As much? Yeah. <laughs> I won't say never, just as much. We're going bump up. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not say that. <laughs> we're, re we're recording in the, in the supermarket and uh, on the tail end of it after you showed about the eggs and things. And then the guard told me, can't record in here. 
Yeah, and it's weird. And I said, I just want to record her. Is that okay? No. We're doing that for a long time. Yeah, and while we were in there, we were several people, several guards watching us and looking at us. Nobody said anything the yeah. whole time. We did the whole video, in fact, with the exception of the last couple of shots. Because he said, you can't record in here. I mean, yet he watched us the whole time recording. It seems like weird. He's, he's like um, a thief because he's hiding his, like, <laughs> his phone recording. <laughs> Here. Oh me! Uh, <laughs> I was yeah. hiding it. Just wanted to get the it's last shot. I wanted to get the last yeah. shot in. You know. But anyway, it's weird. And this is our actual receipt. Since people like to see re receipts, Robinson's Supermarket, Valencia City, and I'll show you the final total. Obviously, you don't have to. Well, let me see. I'll try to show it all. So if you want to scroll through it and pause it, you can see what's what for what price. But. The final tally, the final total is on the bottom right here, and it says three thousand seven hundred and fifty-one fifty-five pesos. So I guess you know if you rounded up to four thousand, you're looking at about a little less than you know a hundred dollars Canadian, somewhere between you know seventy-five dollars and a hundred dollars Canadian, maybe I don't know. Was it 85, 90 bucks, something like that? I'm not sure. So, and this is for one week's groceries. And this is uh, a list here of things for myself and Wella Mahal, our two animals. We have a dog and a cat, and some items for my son as well. So, that's, that's your total right here for today's weekly challenge. How much money we actually did spend. This is kind of like an average thing of some typical things we'd buy. So, you want to multiply by four, it can give you a relatively decent idea how much you would or may spend in a scenario like ours hope it helps in a week okay and the average that we get for the entire week for today is three thousand seven hundred so mm -hmm. three thousand so you're saying twelve thousand for the month yeah for the groceries mm -hmm. twelve thousand <coughs> okay that's pretty reasonable isn't it uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Foreigner's perspective? Filipino's perspective. That's reasonable. No. <laughs> no, because as a typical Filipino, we don't use tissue. We don't use wipes. We use water and soap. <laughs> it's weird. Get used to it if you're coming, but no, not really. I can't get used to it. I have to use. I have trying to, to you know, practice him not to use tissue. Like, okay, whenever we, um, move into our property we will never use tissue you have to use water water is more cleaner than tissue <laughs> toilet tissue we're talking about toilet tissue if you haven't clued in you no. need toilet tissue no from a fur <laughs> foreigner's perspective you need toilet tissue because as a filipino only uh, i think only um since we we live in the uh, far from the city we don't go in the robinson just to buy our uh weekly um uh, you know budget no we just go in the uh wet market and yeah. everything is there right so yes. this is kind of a, a little budget challenge we did at the supermarket so you can kind of compare apples to apples like if you're back home you're generally shopping generally at the supermarket mm -hmm. so we just wanted to kind of buy everything at the supermarket to give you kind of a comparison you know if you're buying at the supermarket we're buying at the supermarket some typical things and this is how much it costs mm -hmm. but now in actual life she goes to the market to save moolah she saves a lot at the market like give an example of the lemons for example um actually no the lemon is more cheaper in the guys ano that's why i bought a lot of lemon like 21 pieces of lemon because it cost only 11.25 per piece in the wet market it's 14 50 in robinson is kind of it's just for uh, four pieces uh, it cost almost 100 pesos so when so uh, next time each. next time when i buy lemon i need to go in the old gaisano not the new gaisano because in the new gaisano they are more expensive and while the old gaisano 
uh, some of their products are more cheaper. Yeah, so that's, it's just a, a little bit of a comparison. You can really save a lot depending on exactly where you go, but especially the market prices, you will get you know mm -hmm. a big savings. But this was a supermarket experience. Especially, especially the egg. I bought one tree of egg there. I can I can buy like uh, two hundred pesos for um, thirty pieces of egg. But here in Robinson, it's just twelve pieces for one hundred twenty-five, and it's medium size. While in the market, it's 200 or 220, it's extra large size. And you get, like, how many, you say 30, 30 pieces, eggs? 30, 30 pieces, eggs, yes. can you imagine? Because I remember back home, oh my goodness, that, what a savings. Mm -hmm. 30 eggs for only 200 pesos, so that's like four US dollars, something like that? Mm -hmm. Like four US dollars, is that right? For every, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. For every yeah. fifty is a dollar, so a hundred is two dollars. Yeah, that'd be about four four U.S. dollars, and you get thirty eggs, good size eggs. You know, still, that's, and that's the market price, not not the supermarket price, which is a lot more. Mm -hmm. So we're just trying to give you a comparison today. So we hope you enjoyed it. I think we ended <coughs> the video earlier, but this, is, I guess, <coughs> could be another ending. Do you think today's uh, little shopping challenge was successful, unsuccessful, somewhere in the middle? What do you think? Uh, it's successful for me. Um, I just thought I thought you said everything was too much money, so I figured you're going to say it was unsuccessful. <laughs> no, uh, I say it's a successful because um, we're not buying just for ourselves. We're buying also for for his son and for our puppies. Yeah, so, so we're talking a family us. of three yes. with two animals. Puppies. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what our final bill was for. Mm -mm. Because before when we don't have puppies, we, we still our expenses is tsh, so that, and now we have like we have this kind of um, enjoyment because every morning someone poops on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> someone true? like wake you up licking your <laughs> face. <laughs> licking your face. It's something like that. Yeah. It's really Throughout, throughout the night, the famous mm -hmm. expression with the fan blowing is, um, Fan! Stop farting! <laughs> <laughs> Just escape me for a second. No, no, no. Damn, stop Me farting. guy! Stop pooping on the bed! <laughs> <laughs> so we have new, new sentences in our vocabulary yeah. lately. Because our cat, um, he uh, get up in the bed because that's the time that he wants to poop. So that's why uh, I need to get up and put him outside so he can poop. Yeah, yeah we learned from the very yeah. first experience. Mm -hmm. He's crying. I said, you need to put him out. No, he's okay. She squeezes him. Blanket. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened again, by the way. Oh, yeah, because every time he get up in the bed, look, I, I need to get up even if I'm so tired, I'm so sleepy. Oh, or sometimes, um, most of the night, I can't, uh, I only, you know, sleep, half sleep. Like, oh my goodness, every hour I need to get up because um, the dog is keep going up and down. Like, uh, and and, yeah. and it, we cannot close the door because um, they keep whining outside and it's, you know. She closed the door last night and for two hours while she slept, <gasps> I, I, I could hear the dog. Yeah, yeah, and he didn't sleep. <laughs> oh, I got up and let yeah. the dog in and then he was fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two kids that are not kids. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just sometimes we're talking about the them once we have a baby. I think <laughs> the, in their left side, the dog, and the right side is the 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 cat. Like oh my goodness, we have so many. The foreigner gone kids. home. <laughs> <laughs> How you making out over there in the Philippines? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Everything going good for you? <laughs> anyway, okay. that's it. Bye. Thanks for joining <laughs> us.